Good morning everyone. Testing FSD 12.3.1 for the first time this morning. Uh, got it yesterday afternoon but didn't have a chance to go out with it. Alright, so I wish that it would stop a little further ahead because it can't see there. So right here is where it should stop because this is how far you have to get to be able to see left uh, due to the weird curve in the road. I mean that turn is just great now I've complained about that one for so long and you know had some people argue that it should pull into the right lane and then make into the left there's just not enough room there and what it's doing now is perfect it doesn't swing right out into the left lane but it does immediately get over as soon as it makes the turn right it moves into the left lane and then smoothly makes the turn left which is exactly what it should do. All right. I love that acceleration. Um, can't explain just how much better that is just just that little bit of boost in acceleration when it uh, makes the turn and it waits until it's already made the turn and not you know when you're in the middle of the turn which can feel uncomfortable so the best part about this road is that it no longer does the um, changing lanes out of rightmost lane, which it would do about right now, and probably would do despite there being a car about to pass me, um, which is why I had to disengage when that would happen a lot, because it would get into the left lane. As soon as a car was coming up on me in the left, it would say changing lanes out of rightmost lane and cut them off. All right, so... I'm going to try to have it do a U-turn right up here. We'll go past this one and then I'll remove my first waypoint and it should reroute me back and give me a U-turn. So let's see. Now let's go to the next one. So we'll do, so right here, remove it and see what it does all right so it sees a u-turn up ahead that's great that's exactly where I wanted it to do u-turn but is it going to what are you doing what are you doing My 360 camera just fell off. How in the hell did that happen?
Yikes. All right. Um, so that sucks. <laughs> I've never had that happen in the past two and a half years. <laughs> One of my suction cups popped loose and uh, caused the whole uh, rod to turn and fall sideways. So thankfully, my, the reason I have two uh, I'm going to have to do this manually now. Um, the reason that um, I've got two mounts on there is exactly that, just in case. And sure enough, um, one of them came loose. So I am actually going to uh, get a third one. So it missed that first U-turn. Um, I think it was going to do the second one just fine, but I had to take over to take care of the uh, camera. But it totally missed that first one. It was just riding in the, the right lane and just coming to a stop. And uh, even though it needed to be all the way over two lanes to make the U-turn. So that one's a, a new one. that. What are you doing? Okay, it was about to cut off the truck in the left lane. There's no reason for me to even be in the left lane, but it was going to cut them off. I mean, they're right there. Uh, yeah, so that's not good. I'm going straight and eventually need to be in the right lane. So there's actually no reason to get in the left plane. Forgot my microphone. So hopefully you could hear that. All right, so it needs to slow down past this 20 sign going 40 miles an hour like that truck is doing. That it needs to slow way down. Slow way down. Come on. Okay. See, the scroll wheel actually does affect your speed, but it takes five seconds after you stop scrolling before it actually does anything. Which is kind of annoying uh, when you're trying to slow down. You know, that guy in the truck's lucky that there wasn't a cop right there, like there often is. I'm going to do my next stop. Um, Wow. Please, Tesla, default us to recirculate. This uh, truck in front of me smells awful. Oh, man. Okay, so... Yeah. Okay, that was good. It slowed down. I don't know if it was because I saw a sign or what, but that light was flashing that we were going too fast. Um and it slowed down. So that's one improvement I love. That truck was turning right and the car predicted that they would be turned before um, we reached them. So the, the car didn't break or do anything weird with the steering as it was approaching that truck. That's a really big improvement from before because Typically what would happen is the car would just kind of lightly tap the brakes over and over as because it wasn't sure if if that truck would be turned in time. So thoughts on the speed. Um, 
I, I don't think it's as bad as before. It's still driving a little under the speed limit or at the speed limit, but it's not, it doesn't feel as drastic as, you know, just yesterday when I used um, 12.3 around town. Um, so I don't know, I'll have to do some more testing on that. I'm not sure. So will it make the turn at the wall? It's got to turn earlier. It's got to... It's uncomfortable. It, if it's going to get that close to the wall, it should slow down even more than it does. Uh, because it just feels like you're going straight toward the wall still. I mean, I've done this so many times I could tell that it was going to make it on that one so I didn't have to disengage but it's still it's not comfortable uh, for the driver or especially for passenger so let's see um, school so I got this last turn and we're done um, so I I don't know if there's any improvement. Um, I will have to do a lot more testing in the same spots uh, with the same amount of traffic just to be sure. But um, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next one.